Yet rule of life is ancient language, it's not modern. So modern Western people, unless if you're Catholic where that language is used more, it's really strange and a little bit alien sounding. And so the first thing you have to point out is it's a rule of life, singular, not rules for life, plural. So it's not like you make a list of rules for your life. It's a rule, it comes from this ancient Latin word regula, which many scholars estimate was the word used for a trellis in a vineyard. It was like that under kind of wooden support structure that made space for the vine to grow. And early followers of Jesus used Jesus' metaphor from John 15 about abide in the vine and bear much fruit, which is really, it's my favorite teaching of all of Jesus' teachings. And I really think it is the center point of spiritual formation and spiritual life. Like if we can figure out how to abide or to remain or how to live in God's presence all through the day, then the natural byproduct is we will just start to bear the fruit, so to speak, in that agrarian analogy of love and joy and peace and all the rest. But if you think about a vine, for a vine to grow well, it needs a trellis. Otherwise, it will bear a fraction of the fruit that it's capable of, and it will be vulnerable to wild animals or to disease. And we're no different as followers of Jesus. To bear the maximum amount of fruit out of our life and our body, we need some kind of a rule of life or a trellis or a support structure to make space for us to remain in Jesus and remain from a place of restful, joyful prayer and bear fruit. And so I would just define a rule of life as a schedule and a set of practices and relational rhythms that make space for abiding and really allow us to live in alignment with our deepest desires. And how you make one is pretty straightforward. I mean, you can get really ninja and complex about it, but you have to start with your vision of the life that you wanna live, in particular for us as followers of Jesus, with a life in the kingdom of God, and what would, it, what would it look like for us to grow and mature into people of love? And so you start with like your vision and your values, and then you back up, and it's basically just habit stacking. Like what are habits from the way of Jesus, or spiritual disciplines, or whatever you wanna call them, we call them practices, that would shape a life around abiding, and prayer, and rest, and work, and kingdom, and all the things that God has for you. And then it's as simple as that. You kind of write up a rule. And it's, a rule of life is always a moving target. It will change year over year as you change, as you move to different places in your spiritual formation, as you move to different stages of life. It'll be very different for a single person to a married person, to little kids, to teenage kids, to empty nester, to death. I mean, all of these stages will be very different. So you have to constantly renegotiate it. And it's always a means to an end. Like a rule, the point of a rule of life is not to have a rule of life. It's to become a person of abiding and of love and of joy and of peace.